Hey guys, uh, Warren Williams. Uh, check out my website at warrenwilliamscoaching.com. Right, what you'll see is different chapters um, on my website as well as on YouTube I'll be doing different discussions on different subjects. So just check back every so often you'll see different subjects explained. Today I'm going to talk about what we call chunky aerobic syndrome. This is something that's really important especially for women to understand. The reason why it's really important for women to understand is because aerobics is a key thing that women focus mainly on. They think that aerobics is the key or the solution to exercise. Well it really isn't. Let me explain what I mean. You have aerobic exercise, you have anaerobic exercise. I'm going to explain the difference and tell you what it does to the body. With aerobic exercise, the reason why we call it chunky aerobic syndrome is because of the fact that when you do aerobic exercise, basically your body has two different enzymes, lipolytic and lipogenic enzymes. These enzymes are fat-releasing and fat-storing enzymes. What happens is, when you do aerobic exercise, you're actually increasing the amount of fat-storing enzymes in your body. The reason why this happens is because when you do aerobic exercise, think of it like this. Let's say you start running on a treadmill and you can last for five minutes. You keep doing it for a year, what will happen is your body becomes better at conserving energy to allow you to run for longer. Think about it. In order for you to run a long journey, your body has to conserve energy, not expend it. Whereas when you have anaerobic exercise, anaerobic exercise is about expending great amounts of energy in as short time as possible, much like a sprinter. What you'll see is a sprinter will run for 10 seconds and be totally, absolutely tired, fatigued at the end because they're expending energy. So when it comes to losing weight, you want to be a fat burner rather than like a, a fat storer. Okay? So with aerobic exercise, your body becomes far better at storing energy rather than releasing it. Remember these two facts. Muscle expends energy. It consumes it. Okay, it uses up lots and lots and lots of energy, whereas fat gives you energy. So if you think about bodybuilders, they are always talking about they have to eat every two hours. The reason why they have to is because they have lots and lots of muscle, which consumes lots of energy. So, what would you rather be in terms of losing weight? Found someone that constantly burns energy or someone that constantly stores it? Right, you'd be once someone that you know, someone that actually burns the energy because that makes it more efficient for you to lose weight. So when people do aerobic exercise, they become better and better at storing energy rather than releasing it. So that way, what they're doing is they're just keeping weight on. And the thing is, is what happens is when you do aerobic exercise, it places a stress on your body because cortisol, which is a stress hormone, which is an awakening hormone, an activity hormone, is released into the bloodstream once you've been doing more than 20 minutes of aerobic exercise. Now what that does is it creates a stress effect in the body and short term stress shuts down the digestive system. Long term stress shuts down the immune system. And from an exercise point of view, stress actually affects and breaks down and cannibalizes the muscles. So when you're actually doing aerobic exercise, you're breaking down the muscles as an energy source because your brain says you don't need muscle if you want to do aerobic exercise, if you want to last long, you don't need that muscle. Because remember, muscle burns energy. So your body says, okay, I'm gonna get rid of all the muscle you have and just keep fat because fat will keep giving you more energy to allow you to prolong your aerobic workout. Okay? So understand that aerobic exercise, all it does is it increases your fat stores, makes you fatter but it makes you think you're getting smaller because you lose weight. And the reason why you lose weight is because remember, muscle weighs more than fat, okay? So you go on the weighing scale and say, oh, I've lost 10 pounds. But what you've really done is you've lost 10 pounds of muscle. And because muscle consumes energy, your metabolic rate, which is the rate at which you burn or the amount of calories you burn a day, lowers. So you may have started your aerobic routine burning 2,000 calories a day with perhaps a body fat of 30%. You keep doing your aerobic exercise six months to a year down the line, you may lose a stone, but what you've done is you've lost a stone of muscle. And so now your metabolic rate is slower because you have less muscle. And that way now your, rest, your resting metabolic rate is 1,200 calories. So what happens is that means you're gonna have to go on a diet and it creates a vicious cycle. Well, we're going to talk about diets in another session, but just suffice to say, aerobic exercise doesn't make you thin, it makes you fat, puts on more fat around your body, increases stress on the body, increases your fat storing enzymes, creates stress throughout all the systems in the body. And one stress begets another stress. 
So you want to lose weight, it's about doing weight training because weight training increases your muscle. And by having more muscle in your body, muscle consumes energy. Fat consumes or uses five pounds, sorry, five pounds of fat burns 10, 15 calories an hour. But five pounds of muscle consumes 80 to 100 calories an hour. So if you want to burn, burn fat, you want to have more muscle. You want to be a fat burning machine. And the only way you accomplish that is by increasing your lean body mass through weight training. That's it, thank you.